up. Sean ran over a nail right there. Shitty thing is that it's split into the sidewall. Damn, this fool got fucked up. He's got two more under here. You see it? One right there and one right there. In the valley right now, kind of ghetto part of the valley. All you LA people know exactly what I'm talking about. But I'm getting an oil change for the Prius because it's dirt cheap and it costs me just about the same as it would to pick up some oil for the car. Easiest oil change of my life. I didn't even have to get my hands dirty and it was like less than 10 minutes. So worth it. Like what it cost me, it would have cost for oil and a filter and this fool knocked it out, filled up my tires, cleared my code, did the oil, less than 10 minutes. Now I can be more productive with my day. <laughs> Just got to the secret car show. I can't tell you guys where it is. And people are very particular here about walking around with cameras and phones and recording stuff. But some this is probably one of the best shows I ever go to and it's like a weekly thing. So I hear there's some good shit here and I'm ready to show you guys. It's definitely on the bucket list. So it's like a first gear is down and to the left. Yeah. That would fuck me up. <laughs> I'm here with Nick. He's gonna go ahead and explain how this AeroMotions wing works on his GTR. <laughs> yeah, so there's uh, there's two ways in which the wing gets data. It's got an onboard accelerometer that can detect lateral G and braking G, and it also takes a signal from the CAN bus for speed. So that way you can set it. For example, if you're on a fast racetrack and you have a straightaway and you want the wing to go flat, you can set say over 100 miles an hour and the wing will flatten itself out. Likewise, you come into a uh, hard corner where you're gonna break, it'll detect a G threshold and then the wing will go high aggressive angle to help squat the car and help create some beneficial drag. So it's a pretty clever wing. Uh, there's two models. This one is a single element and then there's a dual element which can actually further move the wings like this to help in the turn. So oh, wow. that, that'll be uh, my next step when AeroMotions decides to sponsor me. <laughs> <laughs> what else is done to your GTR? What are you putting down? So the GTR is full bolt-on E85 car, so it puts down about 650 to the wheel on a dyno jet and a 650 torque as well, um, tuned by Special DC up in Chatsworth. So other than that, uh, intake, full exhaust all the way back. It actually has catalytic converters just because it can smell <laughs> without. Oh, okay. Um, Ecutech tuning. Um, it's got a couple of AMS parts on it, but basically it's your kind of standard full bolt-on E85 car. Also right changed uh, the brake rotors and pads because I do a lot of tracking. Um, 
Next step for this car is definitely suspension. So getting to the point, I can't out drive the car for sure, <laughs> but I'm getting to the point where I'm starting to fight the suspension at the track, so. You're on stock suspension right stock now? Stock suspension right now, yeah. Okay. So looking at the uh, DSC Sport uh, package because it's got a standalone computer, um, uses the factory uh, switch gear uh -huh. so you can set between aggressive and soft. And oh. I think that'll be, uh, that'll be the next step in this car. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully drop a few seconds in the track. Like <laughs> so. Turn over the GTR so you guys can hear it. Best intentions, custom exhaust. Shout out. Set, yeah, HG Motorsports did an awesome job on this. Um, so you can set thresholds for wing angle based on braking G, um, cornering speed, high speed cornering, and then straightaway. And again, the straightaway is all about, it's basically similar to a Formula One's drag reduction system where you take the wing into a low drag setting so that you have straightaway speed, but then you can get on the, you know, you get on a corner or something, the wing goes back more aggressive. That's brilliant. Yeah. It's the kind of classic, like, hybrid, you know, weekend race car because I, I want to be able to get aggressive on the track, but then I want to be able to drive it to cars and coffee, so. Yeah, yeah. completely understandable. <laughs> All right, going for a ride. Just by conversation, I found out that Nick here dailies a Prius as well. See kids, do not daily your race car. <laughs> <laughs> a ride in the in the yeah, G Tizzle. It was nice to, to feel how it handles around the corners, especially with that wing. We didn't get an opportunity to really utilize it, but I'm sure it comes in very helpful up the track. Do you tell them? You need to just sit down and tell them. <laughs> Forever. know what to say that I think that GTR exhaust sounded absolutely beautiful I understand he's still running the cats or cat I don't know how many the GTR has but the exhaust was actually made by fast intentions it was a custom exhaust for the car it was had like a zero zero one on it specifically for the car but it sounded great it didn't sound choked at all by the cats it sounded good it wasn't loud and fucking obnoxious on the road and you could really feel the motor just by hearing it. You car people know what I'm talking about. The technology on that wing was absolutely, it was beautiful technology, quite frankly. Uh, I i can't say I've ever seen anything like that in person. I was super impressed and would love to do this on a grip car. <laughs> also, I apologize on me like doing one of these with the camera trying to hold it as he's driving. I am working on figuring out what other people do for a car because right now I use like this little Canon and I know some people use a GoPro I don't know if the audio is good and I gotta get like a little suction cup to help benefit us both <laughs> I'm doing my outro at home because I didn't really film it 
that exhaust was probably the best GTR exhaust I have ever heard. For those of you who are curious, since I have no way any affiliation with Fast Intentions, Nick did mention that his was the first and I believe it is the only one right now. I don't know if they're making more again, I have no affiliation, I just think it sounded amazing. Good job, you guys. <laughs> I also checked my PO box on my way home and I am super humbled and very grateful for everyone who has sent me fan mail. I plan on writing back, I will be writing back, so keep an eye on your mailboxes for those of you who have mailed me letters. Also, someone mailed me a bunch of shirts. <laughs> I don't know who it was, but thank you. You know, I, I spent a lot of my money on car parts and I'm always getting dirty, so I don't very often buy myself nice things, so it's a nice little soft shirt. There's a few of them. It's very thoughtful and very sweet, thank you. Since you guys have watched to the end, I can tell you that I plan on introducing my STI swap Subaru soon. So I'm gonna be going to the shop and kind of doing a walk around on that and talk about that. So thanks for watching. Please share these videos on forums or Facebook or anything. It would be mucho appreciated. Hope you guys have a great night. All right, bye. <laughs>